And we're live from Toronto Worldwide. Yes, we are. Here we go. Hello, everybody. It is so good to see you. All zero of you, but that's okay. You'll slowly start to come in. The room will fill. We'll gather. We'll meet. And we'll talk about perfume and life and whatever else you want to talk about. Um but mostly perfume <laughs> and love and um, your strain. Give us your strain of the night. What's happening? Eight, eight quiet people. It's good to see you quiet people. Let us know how you guys are doing. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know how your day was. It was a lovely day. I am just home after work. It is 3.08 a.m. Toronto time. Some of you are three hours ahead, three hours behind, 12 hours ahead. Maybe it's sunny where you are. I don't know. But wherever you are, I hope the sun is shining on you. Like the stream. Let your friends know that we're here. Tell them to join in on the fun. Come hang out for a bit. We'll talk about perfume. Yeah, yeah, give us your strain. Sour diesel for me. Sour diesel for me. I enjoy my sour diesels. Um, yeah, sour diesels. Diesel for me, diesel for you. Hello, sir. Lick the stream. What's happening? Louis. I had uh, <laughs> your name. Um, it reminds me, I, I had a, like an, I smelled um, Ombre Nomad on somebody at the gym today at the water fountain. And I turn around, I just finished filling my water bottle. And I turned around and I said to the guy, whoever was behind me, I could smell him. And I said, You smell like oud. And he started laughing his head off. He goes, Yeah, you know oud. I said, Of course. Um, and then he says, yeah, it's Louis Vuitton. And I said, yeah, it's Ombre Nomad. And he was like, you know Ombre Nomad? I said, yeah, of course. I know everything. <laughs> and he started laughing. And yeah, we, we talked about Ombre Nomad for a minute. But it was nice to smell something out in the wild that was different than, you know, the Baccarats and the Sauvages. Although I don't really smell a whole lot of Sauvage out there. I don't know what the dudes are wearing. The dudes out in the wild, they're smelling very, very, very sweet. But it's not Sauvage. It's, am I plugged in here? It's not Sauvage. It's something else. But anyway, today we're going to do, and where did you go? Where did you go? We are going to do, we are going to have a look at, and I've talked about this on my channel so many times, but we're going to go through all of them once um for this month and probably it's going to go into next month as well so uh, that's for sure it's going to go into next month because i'm not streaming every day so i'll stream three or four times a week after work like this um and we'll do all the frederick malls we'll go through them i didn't come on last night i was so tired i i, I went to the i got up early 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 yesterday morning i went to the gym early and by the time i came home i was just so exhausted and the last thing I, I I think I would have passed out in the middle of the stream, so I was like, I'd rather save it when I'm more fresh. Like tonight, I've, it's even though it's three a.m., I still feel fresh because I I got to sleep in. But yeah, got to go to the gym again today and do squats. Today was leg day. Did a whole lot of just squats, feeling good. I'll be super horny later tonight. That always happens on squat days, though. Squat days get super horny. You know, the the T the T really kicks in the testosterone the high tea, um, and food. So we'll be eating and um, playing with the tea. <laughs> the tea. But yeah, you guys know. So yeah, we'll talk about, we'll have a look at music furry vile. Okay. Um, I got a, I got a, I got a kind of a compliment on this today. Kind of. Kind of. I was talking to one of one of the trainers at the gym, and she's like, "You smell like bubble gum," and I was like, "Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! That's true." Because there is a bubble gum accord in here. 
and she actually named like the brand of the gum and it was called uh shit, now i forget what the, what the brand was um Oof, I forgot the name, but she told me it, you smell like bubble gum and you smell soapy. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. You got the bubble gum part. I'm not sure about like soapy. Um, what was the gum called? Thrills. Thrills bubble gum. She said it was called Thrills bubble gum. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not sure if I can take that as a compliment. Like bubble gum. What's going on here? Eugene, what, what is going on here? Hmm. I gotta take care of this. I gotta take care of this. This is not this is not good. Hmm. Okay. We'll take care of that. Sajino. What's happening? Hi from Singapore. What is happening? Singapore. Good to see you. Scent of the day, bond number nine, New York Knights. Awesome. Louis says, today I received Boy Chanel and I love it a lot. I'm interested in music for a while. Would you compare it? I think they're uncomparable in terms of lavenders. Very, very, very different. Uh, we'll get into it, though. You know what Boy smells like, right? We'll talk about this. Um, lavender, lots of lavender in here. Like tons and tons and tons of lavender. Uh, a very full lavender but sticky and sweet and fruity lavender and patchouli you know the classic combo lavender and patchouli oris what's happening oris eros the god of love hi hi my stinky little cabbages holy shit i had cabbage today i had fried cabbage fried cabbage and steak that's what i had for dinner my day was really wonderful i'm watching from the collective unconscious Oof. I wonder if we could all meet up in there. Do you think that's what the chip is doing? Like this Elon uh, Musk implanting people with chips that will all be able to partake in one person's conscious? Can you imagine how wild that would be? And if we can not only partake in their conscious, but cut, like be able to control the conscious, be able to control their thoughts or how they feel or their actions holy fuck it's getting crazy isn't it oris the world is getting crazy and crazy it seems like by the moment by the minute you know can you imagine just going back in time 200 years to see what they lived like 200 years oof it's not a long time though eh? 200 years babush what's happening melbourne thursday 7 p.m Sent to the day music for a oh, while, wow, two days in a row. Me too, Babouche. Me too. I wore it yesterday with the intention of coming on last night, right? Where did you go? Where did you go? Uh, so I didn't. I, I, I didn't stream. I was way too tired. So I wore it again today. I thought, why not? You know, if we're going to do it, let's do it right. So two days in a row. And I enjoyed every single moment. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm right nomad in the gym. Yeah, for me, I smelled a lot baccarat. I smell a lot of baccarat in the gym as well, for sure. It's too much for the gym. Absolutely. I didn't mind it smelling ombre nomad in the gym. Honestly, I didn't mind it. it was in the water fountain. It was at the water fountain. It wasn't in the middle of my, my workout. I wasn't in taking for air, you know, so it was actually really good to experience out in the water. It's an excellent perfume. You know, to smell on somebody else, I thought, wow, this is a really, really, really good experience to smell this out on another person. It's a good perfume. Good. It's a good oud, like a French, a French oud. You know what I mean? It's still very interesting, though. Very interesting. What's up, Duncan? Robert Duncan. Hello from Chicago. Eating leftover Chicago pizza. I know you guys love your Chicago pizza and you guys would, would fight to the bone for it, fight to the death for it. Abu, what is happening? Ombre Nomad in the jib is energy. Yeah, I guess it is. It is energy. I smelled oud on a girl too, about two weeks ago and she was in the squat rack and I was like, holy fuck, this chick is wearing rose and oud and she, it was smoky and incense -y. 
a slightly dirty, you know? And I thought that's really, really brave. Really brave. She actually smelled more interesting than the Ombre Nomad guy. Robert Duncan, deep dish or tavern style? What are you having, Duncan? Louis Vuitton Nouveau Monde, really like it a lot. People compare it to Ombre Nomad. Need to try it. I can't get on with um, Nouveau Monde. It's too much for me. I like Ombre Nomad, but um, Nouveau Monde is, is way too scratchy and sharp for me. Without telling, without really going into this story that I enjoy, you know, <laughs> not, not to ruin it for anybody else, but I'm not crazy about Nouveau Monde. I do like Ombre Nomad a lot. And I have both, okay? I have I own both. I put my money into both. Okay? I paid for both. And I think I, I hope, I hope the people watching are gonna realize that all these Frederick Mold bottles, these are all purchased by me. These weren't sent by the brand. Okay. These are all my <laughs> my feelings. Okay. How I feel. What's up, Louis? Sent to the day, Frederick Mull, the moon. Another Frederick Mull. Awesome. Only one and a half sprays. It's it's enough. At the gym, all I smell is sweet fragrances or Aventus clones when I ask. I haven't been I haven't picked up any Aventus clones at the gym. I've never smelled anything unique yet. Carl's Charles, what's happening? Hi from Barcelona. Sent to the day, plum japonais. Good to see you, and I hope you're enjoying your plum japonais. Plum must come. It must. It must be uh, really good in the winter time, eh? Nice thick plum, fruity plum. What's up, Dushan? Greetings from Serbia. Dushan and Batke are working again. Ciao, Batke. Štaima bratko. Is Batke wearing jop home, or or have you given them something, something different? Dushko. Good morning. Wakey, wakey. Here we go. What's happening? Nick Walker. Good to see you. Yes, I always get a lot of testo. Today was deadlift day. 10 sets, three heavy sets plus pump sets. A little bit of sauna and still feel a lot of the energy at 12 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Deadlifts. 10 sets. Oof. It's a lot of sets. I like I like the heavy sets, the big sets, especially around the big muscles. I like to do a lot of sets when the big muscles are are involved. You know, make sure you really, really, if you're there, make sure you're gonna do it right. Do it right and, and really go into them and take the time. What's happening, Pat Lester? Good to see you in Guerlain Vetiver. Nick Walker is visiting Le Centaurs today and will be sampling Chanel number 19 and Healy Month Fresh. Awesome. Um, awesome. Nice. Sent to the day tea service. <laughs> is that what it means by playing with the tea? I don't know. I, I guess we'll never find out, you know, Abu. <laughs> Dushan, sense of the day, Francesco Smalto, Malto, Smalto. All right, what about Batki? What is Batki wearing? Nick Walker says Chanel's boy is absolutely fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. Almost um, good enough for a daily driver, I think. Safe enough, interesting enough. Um, and yeah, just a beautiful wear. Char it's a charming perfume. It's like for a charming man. It's something you would expect to smell off a charming man. Or says, today I started with, today I started my day with Lo Diver. Then my bottle of Desandra came. So I sprayed that. Yay! Awesome. Thank you, Oris Eros. Then I showered and put on 16A Orchard to wear to my class. Then I came home and put on Salgos. Awesome. Awesome. It looks like he had a busy day. Um, 
Yeah. I don't know. 16A Orchard. I don't know what that is. But cool. But I want to hear all about your Desondra when you get to explore it. Come back and, and let us know. And why did you pick Desondra? Why Desondra? I'm so curious. Herman Remmer. Hey, center of the day, Lorenzo Villoresi, Yerba mate. Yerba mate? Cool. Welcome, Herman. What's up, Rizzard? Good to see you. What are you wearing? I hope you're doing well. Pradeep, <laughs> BVD, yes. <laughs> Bring back Damashi. I'm seeing a lot of people. I'm seeing more and more people shitting all over FK. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm so curious as to how this is going to play out. Like five years. I just want to look into the future. Five years to see, you know, the horizon. <clears throat> And what we, the people, will be asking for. What do we want from Dior? Uh, what will we decide? I wonder what we'll be saying then, really, for sure. Uh, bring back Damashi. We'll be screaming for Damashi and, and to take Francis's head or what? <laughs> I hope that's not the case. That'd be really, that would be a really, really bad look at Dior if, if we're screaming to bring back Damashi, considering how much we wanted him gone. <clears throat> I had a I had a phone call this all these weird things are happening in my life it's so fascinating and it's just like everything is just kind of coming together all the cosmos and shit like people that I haven't spoken to in years and like one of my oldest friends that I've known since three years old, but I haven't talked to him in 20 years. He calls me. He just calls me out of the blue. I haven't talked to him in 20 years. And he's like, yeah, I hear you're in the perfume. And I, I wanted to ask you about this. I was like, this is so crazy, 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 crazy. You know, um, like I grew up with this person my whole, my whole life, but you know, you get married and you, you get a job and bills and hobbies and you make new friends and, and life goes on. Right. And, and, and you lose touch with people, but it was really, really, really good to hear like how he's doing and him asking about me, but like he called asking about this, uh, Baccarat Rouge. And he's like, can you, what, tell, what can you tell me about Baccarat Rouge? Cause like my wife wants it. My, I don't know, maybe his daughters. He's like, why is it so expensive? And I was like, I, I don't know, man. That, <laughs> I had no answer for him. I was just like, it's luxury, bro. It's luxury. It's, it's, you know, it's marketing and branding and that's what it is. And he just, he was like, all so, you know, he was just like really curious about the perfume world and, and stuff like that. But yeah, mostly he called just to ask about Baccarat Rouge and what is it? Like, what is this fascination with Baccarat Rouge? And why does everybody have to have it and stuff like that? And I was just like, yeah, Baccarat Rouge. I mean, it is what it is. People love it, you know, and you, you can't get away from it. But Baccarat Rouge. And bring back Damashi and Francis Kurgyan. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Kurgyan, Baccarat Rouge. Maybe we'll see some of that at Dior. Music for a while is a happy accident. Do you think it's like... Um, <clears throat> Shelly Marr? Shelly Marr is like a happy accident from Jiki, isn't it? Um, Jiki... Yeah, it was just like... Jean-Paul Guerlain or, or Jacques Guerlain had spilled, uh, what was it, vanilla in, inside of a vat of, of Jiki, and that's how Shelly Mar came, kind of like in that happy accident. Bobby Dior, you smells good. Come to Garçon. Mitza, I got sticky decan of music for a while with some caps. Morgan and Diet Pepsi. Good to see you, Bobby O. What do you think of music for a while? <clears throat> 
Tuned on, tuned in, drop out. Hey, Eugene in chat, wearing Queer to Receipt two days in a row to satisfy my sense of smell after sampling Diagolev. <clears throat> I got leather and smoke and nomber and nomad. Not much you'd really. Oud is like, it's undeniably Oud to me. Like, that's what struck me was Oud. And then the Rose, Rose Oud is very specific to me. You know, I, I as soon as I pick it up, it's very, it's it's instant. There's no, there's no question about it. It's, un, yeah, undeniable. Uh, smoky, leathery, yeah. I get leather and smoke, yeah. I get, it's all Oud to me. Oud, Oud, Oud. Will you grab some pizza this week, Eugene? I might for Super Bowl. I might troop, treat myself. I'm going to watch the Super Bowl. I'm going to see what all the fuss is about. I want to see the halftime show. I'll be disappointed if Justin Bieber isn't there. I hope. I hope. I'm really hoping for Justin Bieber to come on the halftime show. Just the Canadian connection. And he looked really, really, really happy doing the um, All-Star game here in Toronto, the NHL All-Star game. So. Yeah, maybe we'll get some pizza on 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 Sunday. Sunday's the uh, the the Super Bowl. Robert says I brought Chicago pizza up to Alliston, Ontario, Canada, and everyone loved it. Awesome! I gotta try some of that whiskey Reaper. What's happening? Do time travelers exist? Is this the year a prediction comes true? <laughs> <laughs> my best friends mailed me some pre-quads pizza from chicago's for valentine's day those sweethearts is that like the best pizza in chicago and that's pretty sweet sending somebody pizza in the mail that is that is effort. That is dedication. That is a friend that you should keep indeed. Those are the friends you want to keep dearly in life. You hold on to these types of people and you treat them equally. Somebody mailing you a fucking pizza? Damn. That's energy. That's that's the energy I want my friends to have. Good morning. You must, Oris Eros, who are you? Like, that says something about you. Who are you that somebody is sending you a fucking pizza in the mail? Who are you? <laughs> we want to know. Good morning. Send of the day, Queer to Rusi. Chris Toff, good to see you. You're the second one wearing Queer to Rusi. Turn on, tune in, drop out is wearing Queer to Rusi. Hi, Lynn. What's happening? Uh, hello, Eugene and everybody here. My send of the day is was Synthetic Jungle, and I love it. I love it too, Lynn. I really love Synthetic Jungle. In fact, I've been thinking about like this top 10, like after the month of Frederick Mull, I'm going to do my top 10. And I really, really, really don't know how I'm going to do it. It's so difficult. Every time I wear, like every day, I'm like, this could easily be number one. And I've said that several times already. So I know this is going to be a really, really, really difficult task. And part of it is going to be like separating, you, you know, some of my, like, let's say Portrait of a Lady. It, it has been one of my favorites since the beginning, but I haven't worn it in forever, you know. And there are things that I now enjoy more than Portrait. But like, how do I, how do you count that? You know, how do you count Portrait of a Lady out? You know what I mean? Just because I don't wear something anymore doesn't mean I don't enjoy it, but it's got to stand for something. So making this list, it's it's not it's not an easy thing. And I think, you know, if I make this list today, next week it could very easily change. I mean, <laughs> it's most certainly going to change. What we discussed is happening. Another portrait from Frederick Mull. Another portrait from Frederick Mull, but freaking acne student. What do you mean another? Another portrait of a lady? No. Huh? 
Huh? What? <laughs> There's already three portrait of a lady. Um, but I saw the note listing and it didn't look anything like I saw sandalwood. Oh, wait, and rose violet, sandalwood, vanilla. What else was in there? Remind me somebody. Rose violet, sandalwood, vanilla. That's a wild ride on the fragrances today. Yeah. It's like um the rodeo. I'm going to sell my bottles and replace them all with Diorom. Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, two are probably enough. Uh, drawn by sun morning, lick the stream. Yes, lick the stream. Stream lick. Lick the stream, everybody. Stream lick. lick the if you're licking the stream, enjoy the stream. <laughs> no, if you're enjoying the stream, like the stream. Lick it really good. Like really, really good. How hard did you lick it? There are 490 mil stock bottles of Diorom that, that can cover your needs. There are? I didn't know. That's a lot of uh, mils, bro. Why didn't they give you the extra 10 mils? Why did they stop at 490? I got to get rid of some of these perfume bottles. 16A Orchard is an iris skin scent made by Frank Vocal by Edis de Venustis. Ah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn hipster shit, but I love it. And it's great for something like a professional class. I didn't know about this <laughs> Brooklyn hipster shit. Is it like Santal 33? He made Santal, right? He's an interesting perfumer. German, right? Frank Vocal. German perfumer. That makes total sense. <laughs> the Germans, they have this way of fucking making everything so comp. You ever work on a German car? You cannot fix a German car with regular tools. You cannot fix a Mercedes and the BMW with regular tools. You need special German tools. And this guy creates German perfumes. Kind of industrial too. Perfumes are becoming industry plants. BR is distinct, but freaking Angel share with its 277 clones. Bacat Rouge is distinct, but freaking Angel share with its 277 clones. Yeah. Angel share. Eugene, pick up some Acne Studio jeans. The quality is superb on them. I have a few from yours. Bro, I don't even know what Acne Studios is. I've never heard of this, Acne Studios. What is Acne Studio? Let's have a look. Oh, it's all like hipster wear. It's very trendy. This is all the Haley Bieber type of clothing. A very millennial. But very expensive clothing for, whoa, 750 bucks for a pair of jeans. That's insane, bro. Who's buying this stuff? <laughs> but somebody could be looking up a bottle, a thousand dollar bottle of Diagolov and going, who's buying this stuff? <laughs> and we're all like, we are. Interesting. I'd love to hear more about this, like how this collaboration has come, like what Frederick has, what, what about acne inspired him to work with them or, or create a perfume. Dennis, what's happening? Santa de is la couche de diablo. Good to see you. Or it says, why the Sandra? Because you can just smell the power in it. The primal root chakra kundalini energy rising up from the earth right into you. And you turn into a destroyer crone, obviously. Holy shit, I love that. That's awesome. 
in your own words yeah you you said it yeah i was inspired by inner finding inner peace out in that in that forest finding oneness just finding like alignment you know just living in the moment enjoying that moment that one and only moment there in the forest Batki is wearing Dior Om Intense. His message to you is Brate Karsi. Dusha, are you buying him lunch or is he buying you lunch? Who's buying lunch or coffee or beer? Whose turn is it today? Nick says on the way to go grab Starbucks coffee in your coxa blonde ice latte to start the day or is that's what eugene should use as an advert dis for dishonor that's a pretty good advert right there it certainly is i've got a big surprise i've got a big surprise but it's right here i'll save it for the next stream we got we got um we got enough for today but i'll save it for the next stream Send of the day, Rokabar. What's happening? Sticks. Great scent of the day. Love it, man. Love it. Who remembers a love boat? We should have a perfume love boat. A big love boat. And all the perfume geeks get on it. And if your perfume stinks, we throw you overboard. We get rid of you. Wouldn't that be fun? Love boat, perfume love boat. Prequads is the best place in Chicago. Chicago. We went there after all. We read Moby Dick together because that's the name of the ship in the book. I'm available as a copywriter. It's one of several jobs I have had. One of the several jobs I've had. There you go. I know two of your top 10 because you'd like your bride to wear carnal flower and you'd wear Mitsuko on your wedding day. What's happening, David Hunter? <laughs> What's happening? I'm talking about my top 10 Frederick Moles. I'm going to do a top 10 Frederick Mole after the end of this. Um, but Mitsuko is a get alone. Who are you? I'm the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. Who's the caterpillar? I never watched Alice in Wonderland. Can you believe that? I've never watched Alice. I think I need to get um, some shrooms and watch Alice in Wonderland. There's probably a lot of other good movies to watch on shrooms. Alexander, music for a while. Finally. Yes, finally. What's happening, Alexander? Like the stream, Alexander. Please be kind. Rewind. You remember they used to put that on the videotapes? Who here rented cassette tapes for their VHS? <laughs> he used to say, please be kind. Rewind for the next motherfucker that's going to be watching this. <laughs> Batki, go extra heavy with the Yop Om and sit close to Dushko. How does Dushko feel about Yop Om, Bratki? Oh, Batki. Give him some Shipra Palatin, Dushan. Yeah, he made Santal 33 in Glossier U. He has a style. Toyota Camrys are now the BMWs and Mercedes on the roads these days. Oh, they're friggin' price like one, that's for sure. And classic muscle cars are way cooler and turn heads than those overpriced computer cars. I hear BMW's already getting out of the electric car game. <laughs> they say we've had enough of this stupidity. Is this true? I would I wouldn't mind if that was true. Bring back gasoline cars, please. I don't know. Every time I hear that we that whir of the battery of the electric car, and just like I, I can't accept it. I just can't. It's like what what is this world turning into? Uh, 
Like they're not going to be here forever, right? I don't think they will be. I meant the portrait collection like Dries Van Naughten. Notes are way more like Lipstick Rose by Schwager. Wonder who's the perfumer. What's up, Christina? Yet not dead. Morning, Eugene. Good to see you. Roja, Great Britain yesterday. Crazy how similar to Chanel Queer de Russie it is last forever. Diaglev today. Awesome. 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 Surprise, surprise, surprise. So many surprises. Yes. I love a good surprise. Surprise. I have a 10. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a 10 mil vial of Diodom Intense. That stuff is so good. It should be marketed as unisex to me. Anybody could wear it. Absolutely. Diodome Intense. Easily a woman can wear it. Easy. It's so smooth and round and soft and powdery. And... <laughs> Bratetsarsi, bro, you are the king. You don't need a movie on shrooms. You are the movie. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm just enjoying myself here, man. I'm just like you, enjoying myself. And I hope you're enjoying yourself. But thank you. <laughs> We're all kings, eh? We can all be kings here. You can be whatever, whatever your mind can create, you can be. That that's the illusion to this life. It's whatever you can think you can create. You can be whatever the hell you want to be. You can go and do whatever you want. You can get up and leave and and whatever. You can do whatever you want, bro. Any one of you guys can do whatever you want. You can create whatever you like. Whatever your mind can can come up with. Stream licked. And this stream's timing is so perfect after night shifts at the hospital. Norwegian time zone. Yeah. Lick the stream, guys. Lick the stream. But thanks for being here. Good to see you. Alexander. Pat Lester said, wore a Rosen queer to work yesterday. And whenever I take a small whiff of it on my arm, my mood changes from a melancholy state to a cheerful one. One of my favorite. And I can't wait till you review it. It's so beautiful. It's so like strikingly beautiful. I can't get enough of it. And I love Pat Lester. Do you get the shapes? Do you get the the triangles in there, you know, the, 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 the big triangle. I got such big triangles. They feel like I'm wearing Doritos. It's like, it's like Rose and queer feels like a bag of Doritos around my neck, like strung together. You know, that's how triangular the perfume feels like to me. There's nothing round. There's no softness. It's like, bam, <laughs> you know, there's no intimacy whatsoever. It's just like, get right to the point. Let's take shrooms, Eugene. Let's take shrooms. I'm down. I am down for a good adventure. I'm always down for a good, exciting adventure. Um, I love I love spontaneous, spontaneity. Batki brought, bought back breakfast for us. Bravo, Batki. He says that you are Tsar, the emperor. No, Batki, TC Tsar. You're the king. Eugene is our caterpillar, perfume-wise. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Thank you. Pat Lester. Yeah, Rose and Queer was one I spent a long while with and growing to become one of my favorites, too. Yeah, I mean, should we spend some more time talking about... Um... Where did you go? I keep losing it. Music for a while. But I agree. Rose and Queer is very special. And I love, I love, I love the fact that Frederick says there's no rose in here. There's no, there's no rose. Yet it's in the name, Rose and Queer. They built an accord, a rose accord with no rose. Like that's, that's, that's the art of perfume. You know, that's the whole, that's the whole thing, you know, to look at something in such a way and, and create to be able to envision the rose in your mind. It's very glittery, eh? 
I find it very sparkling. Duncan said the other day in his car about a regret he has about his perfume collecting. Because he loves and collects much perfume, he doesn't have a signature fragrance. Yeah, I, I would imagine many of us here don't have a signature fragrance because of that same reason, David, because we like to collect and hoard and and consume so many different things. It's like, no, I was going to say it's like having different friendships, you know, having different friendships and, and getting to know people with different personalities and having different conversations throughout the day through, through your perfume. That's what it is. And I think that's why a lot of us like changing our fragrances day after day after day. You know, we can have a different conversation. We can have a different outlook. We can have a different feeling. But let's go. What's happening? Good to see you, Kev. What are you doing up at this hour? Kevin's doing push-ups, I bet you. Push-ups, sit-ups. He's vacuuming under the couch, getting the AC going. You got the AC on, Kev? He wishes he would have collected less and had a signature perfume. I get because my best friend only wears Mitsuko. I identify her with Mitsuko and vice versa. Yeah, I mean, that, that can work for a lot of people too. A signature. I mean... It's all depends on you and your outlook, what you want. You know, I love rotating my perfumes. I love getting to spend time with different perfumes every day. Sometimes I, I miss, you know, sometimes I'm like, ah. even though I love that perfume, maybe today wasn't a great day, <clears throat> you know, but there's lots of great hits as well. Doritos sticks <laughs> what's going on bro how how are you doing how's everything i talked to kevin what was it like a week ago we had a nice conversation on the phone it was um good to keep in touch good morning antonio hobson scent of the day mfk oud strain of the night thin mints Oh, I've not heard of those thin mints. <laughs> How are they working out for you? Thin mints. Um, I picked up something the other day. What was it? It was several things. Oh, it was the, the, the garlic mushroom and onion cookies is what I got. I'm not a big fan of them, eh? I, I, I'm... I, I, I was looking for the cocoa bongos and they didn't have them, but they're like, here, try these garlic, mushroom, onion. They make me very sleepy and I don't like that. I don't like the, the strains that put me to sleep or tire me out. I like, uh, no, 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 I don't want that. I want, um, the other ones, the other purposes, the finer purposes. I just woke up with my pillow soaking wet. I don't know if I sweat a lot or the dog peed on my face. I shifted to the couch. <laughs> Maybe you're just drooling. Were you dreaming of me or something? What's going on? <laughs> I mean, you are here now. Hmm. Kevin, you're such a disease. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, Kev. I love you. Yeah, having many frags is like many friends, different relationships. It is. It's awesome, eh? Look, they love you here, Kev. Lynn is a signature scent of a woman. Well, she just said she likes having many frags. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's not a signature scent woman. Hmm? Did you ever think of that? Maybe she likes many scents. It's okay to like many scents. It's okay to like many things. It's okay to like whatever you like. How about that? Whatever you like and whatever you do is okay. As long as you're having fun and you're not hurting anybody, you could wear 10 perfumes in one day, all at the same time if you wanted to. 
I love the geranium note. I get a minty fresh rose in it, rose and queer. Yeah, lots of mint. Bitter galbanum. Is it bitter galbanum? What? I mean, let's get it out. We're here, right? Let's get her out. Rose and queer. Pepper. I think they call it like a bourbon pepper. I'll put some of that beauty on. <sighs> so minty. Yeah, the geranium is really apparent too. <clears throat> Biting, peppery. It's very green and sparkling. Music for a while is beautiful too. It's very full. It's got a lot of tension. I, I always, I call it like music for all. a lot of Frederick Moles have tension, but especially music for a while. It feels like you can put a lot of weight on it and you won't be able to collapse it. It just feels like it could hold a lot. You know, it's very thick and robust. It's very, it's one of the heavier moles, I think. Um, I feel like the lavender and the white pepper accord amplify each other, and that sticky pineapple just somehow works. It's so sticky and caramelly and bubblegummy. I told you earlier, somebody paid me, somebody said, your perfume smells like bubblegum. They didn't say, it was said in a good way. There's a bubblegum that they really like called, uh, well, what did I say it was called? <laughs> Fuck. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. They said I smell like bubblegum. I said that's so interesting because there's a bubblegum accord in music for a while. And they picked it out. They actually said it smells like soapy bubblegum. You smell like soapy bubblegum. So that bubblegum is there. The caramel is there. The sticky pineapple is there. There is a lot of sweet elements. But what those sweet elements feel like they do is they fill in the gaps to that lavender. Well, I always I, like lavender and patchouli to me are, is very feathery, meaning there's lots of space in those materials. There's like. It's almost like a bird's feather. <laughs> God, how am I going to explain this? And, and, and the sticky materials just, yeah, they just kind of fill those gaps, you know, and give it depth. And, the, and, and at the same time, the lavender soaks up a lot of that sweetness. Money burner, do you know if push-ups are no-no after recovering from rotator cuff? I imagine they would be a no-no. If you're, if you're nursing a shoulder, Bobby O. And pitching, stop pitching for the Mets too. If you just had surgery, maybe I should get some strain, maybe some pineapple express for sleep. You stay away from the sativas if you want to sleep, but I don't want the munchies more now in diet. Any recommendation? Yeah. Stay away from sativas. Those, those those will those will keep you up you want the indicas those will give you a body buzz but i think both of them will really give you the munchies we just does that in general bobby we love you eugene you have gold men i don't spaced i had a small sample once i see people compare it to number five but different, very pissy and powdery. In a way, it's I, I, I think it was almost unwearable. You know, it was a very big perfume. 
fantastic smoke it's a hybrid strain okay i mean there's so many strains out there it's hard to keep up but i've not heard of that one either fantastic smoke dune hello scent of the day music for a while yes music for a while who else is wearing music for a while dune what do you get from it guys what do you get from music for a while let us know let us know in the chat what you guys get mostly from it so for me it is very lavender heavy and i love lavender and i love this feels uh it's not like the fine the fine essence this is very scratchy lavender textured There's fine, fine, fine. But it's those sweet notes that kind of, they they they, they wash away. The, the scratchiness is here, but those sweet notes cover them up. They almost make a mask for it. For that 6.5 Slav. <laughs> Kevin, how can you wake up and be so funny? It's just natural. He's got to switch. Roka bar is a disgrace. What? Nick Walker, how dare you? Explain yourself, please, Nick Walker. Just do a few and see how it feels. You will know there is some sound advice, Bobby. Don't take advice from me. I commit to a signature scent once or twice a day. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's as far as I want to commit to, Lynn. No more commitments. An eight-hour commitment and the attachments are all off. Lynn, it's a good crowd tonight. It makes my job easy. Ooh, Kevin throwing the compliments around. Pulpa Femo, hi. I really like Rose and Queer. Unfortunately, I recently broke a 10 mil vial. That's too bad, Pulpa Femo. Sorry to hear that, man. Uh, any chance of picking up another one? Or are you done with it? And I love music for a while too. I imagine a lot of people will or do. What do you think it is? I think it's a combination of contrasts. Sweet and sour. It's the sweet and the earthy notes. Rosenqueer is so open, exciting, and aloof, and just great. It is strangely aloof, isn't it? Kind of like that dog that walks past you on the sidewalk, and it doesn't stop. It doesn't want you to pet him. Like, if you stop and you talk to the owner, it doesn't even want to look at you. It, it looks away. It, it has no interest, right? It just keeps wants to keep walking. Very aloof. Yeah, this is aloof. It's not inviting, is it? It's not alluring. It's not It's not any of that. It's very cold. Rosenqueer is cold and metallic. It's a little bit snotty, too, with its nose in the air. Is Rosenqueer the same as Rose Tonnerre? It's not anything like Rose Tonnerre or Un Rose. Oh, it's not like any of their roses. It's... It's very green. It's their greenest rose. rose. Un rose was a green rose as well, but this is more, more green. Yeah, rose tenera and un rose are the same. That's, that's right. TK. What's happening? TK says the patchouli in music for a while is similar to that used in Monsieur. So good. The fragrance is so elegant, so unique. Not a fougere. Yeah, it's hardly a. F it might be a fougere. It's not a barbershop fougere. That's for sure. Is it a fougere? It has ferny elements. Like that lavender is really aromatic and thick. Like you can feel, you can feel the petals, the scratchiness. But also the softness of the lavender. I don't know. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I'll agree. What would we call it then? Well, if it's not a fougere, what would we call it? 
and Amber. It's it might not be classically f like fougere, but I think fougere would would it would most closely fit into the fougere category. Is music for well considered a gourmand? Pradeep says. I don't feel like eating it, Pradeep. This is not something I I put a lot of nasty things in my mouth. I would not put music in the for a while in my mouth. I wouldn't eat this, even though it has all those fruity elements, the bubble gum, the caramel. Thanks, Dune. Or says, okay, my little fragrant unicorns, I am off to bed. I have a date with a witch tomorrow morning to go smell every rose perfume at the knee shop to celebrate the new moon. Is tomorrow the 7th already? The 8th? Wait, today is the 7th. Yesterday was the 7th. I thought the moon was the 7th. I'm so confused. Doesn't matter. Good night, Oris. Have fun on your new moon or the, <laughs> the new moon. And uh, enjoy sniffing. Let us know if you come back with anything interesting. My battery's about to die. I'm going to plug in. Enjoy your witch. Do you get cigarette butts in MFA? MFA? Music for all cigarette butts? No. Cigarette butts. Do you, Bobby? <laughs> I'm counting on the rest of you to tell Eugene what a sexy man he is while I'm gone. Thank you. That's very cute <laughs> that's very cute i haven't spent any time with music for a while it's too heavy it is very heavy can you know we were just talking the other day about how light and transparent bois d'orage is and um what's the other one angelique sula Plui. like angelique sula Plui is almost invisible compared to this it is invisible it's very soft and discreet and it comes out being a musk perfume it comes out with some heat but this is very full and robust all that sticky sweet sticky feel is oppressive to me yeah okay i get it i get it too much there's a lot it is a big perfume a very big perfume it's got a big cloud a big halo it takes up a lot of space it's quite dry as well a little bit pasty that lavender and patchouli i find it dry the same way coromandel is coromandel is very dry and so is this and they and they seem to be like they seem to be dry at the same sort of horizon or level or vibration Carl Anderson, what's happening? Love music for a while. Mostly juicy pineapple. One of the best lavenders and sweetness for me. Love. Robert C., what time is it in Canada? Just past 4 a.m., Robert. It's 4.06 here in Toronto. What time is it where you are? Of course, I'll buy another one, but I don't know when, says Paul Pafamo on Rose and Queer. When are we going to talk about Noir Peace? Will you wear it this month? Yeah, soon. Maybe on the next big cold day. Noir Peace is a big perfume. Monsieur is a big perfume. So on, on the next, I'm sure we're going to have another cold storm coming through. It's still early February. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and save the bigger perfumes for the colder weather. And I do consider Noir Peace a big perfume that loves the cold weather after this stream i'm going to get a bottle of music for a while i just know i just i just know i will i think you're gonna end up falling in love with it lynn it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i mean you don't have to you don't have to fall in love with it 
It depends. Do you love to fall in love with perfumes? Or are you content with what you have? Uh, it's a beautiful one to fall in love with, though. Uh, my uh, Fully approved. I give my full approval to music for a while. Why don't you get like a sample? Get a small sample. Eugene, you giving me four Lulabos to sample was easy job for you. What about malls besides Portrait of a Lady Musk Ravageur and the $1,000 ones? These come last because they are the most talked about. You want me to give you four? Four recommendations for malls? We call it an amber, a woody amber. Yeah, okay. Aromatic fougere to my nose. Yeah, okay. I agree with both of those. Yeah, I feel like eating pineapple. I love pineapple. I eat a lot of pineapple. We always have pineapple in the house. Good night, Oris, says Lynn. That pineapple is a rabble rouser. Cormandel isn't sweet. It's not sweet. No, no, but it is dry. And they're dry. I find them dry on the same level. There's sweetness in Coromandel. It's not the same type of sweetness. It's different. It is it is a benzoin sweetness, maybe some vanilla. The chocolate they've got the chocolate in there. <laughs> Space though says Coromandel is sweet. Chris says, I'm curious about your thoughts on Noor Peace. The other day I sprayed some youth dew and it really reminded me of Noor Peace. Ooh, really? I don't see a connection whatsoever. Uh, youth do is very patchouli heavy to me. Well, nor peace, nor peace feels so much more. Intricate. Hello, Sandra B. Good to see you. Sandra from Paris. Thanks for being here. Christophe says clove and orange. Lots of clove, lots of orange, lots of rose in the opening. You know, the first three hours, it, man, what a beautiful perfume. Like transition wise, the way this thing shifts, it's a chameleon for sure. It has this way of like shape shifting. The first three hours are all that rose, the clove, and the orange. And then that rose is really dark too with the spices lurking from un underneath and then the spices really start to come out after the three hour mark you know the allspice those the four or five big spices that are in that perfume nutmeg cinnamon clove anise probably some chai as well um and it gets quite spicy like really spicy and then it has like another big transition after that. It starts going into the sandalwood and the patchouli and the tea. It's really gorgeous. Like really, really, really beautiful. Ramsey says, more pieces reformulated. Compare 05 Dior Om and Black Tie. I get the connections. Do 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 do. Look at that baby. So compare two thousand. Now put these on skin. I know what you mean. <laughs> I see it already.
Is that not one of the classiest bottles? This is much drier though, spaced out. Much, much drier in comparison. Black tie feels wet. And black tie is a dry perfume. I tell you what, black tie does excellently against Diorom. Black tie is an excellent perfume. Carl says, I wonder what the inspiration for music for a while was. It feels so different from every released. I almost get a phantom vanilla in Diorom. Possibly. Silver stem, my favorite color. It is really good, eh? We've never seen this before, have we? And then with the Dior imprinted on, on the stem at the bottom. Like, that's awesome. Stamped in this. Can you guys see that? Pretty nice. But the black one's beautiful too, right? I gave my I gave my black one to my son. I thought I had a spare, but I don't see it. I think I gave my son my um. 2011 DH. I fucking should have kept that. <laughs> now I'm kind of regretting it. And he also took, I gave him my um, Valentino Womo, which smells like this too. Dune says, Do you have uh, Kenzo Power? I don't have Kenzo Power. I find pieces of Diorom all over that thing. No, I don't have Kenzo Power, but I have O. I have a Diorom O, and there's the the black stem. Look at the color of this juice; it's almost green. O. Diorom O. Why is the juice green? Do you guys see that? It's almost like straw. Burnt straw. This is a my much nicer color juice. I like this. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This looks bland in comparison. It almost looks like those old aftershaves or like high karate look this color, I think. I wish black tie had more projection power. It's too weak on me. Yeah, where it's more like a parfum, doesn't it? But I mean, Dior Home wasn't a beast. It's Dior Home isn't much stronger than Black Tie. Don't you need really cold weather to start to appreciate music for all? I'm still in the oppressed stage. <laughs> yes, it could do with some cold weather. But I can wear I can wear music for a while in the heat. I love it in the heat as well. In the heat, it's completely different. Music for a while is especially great when you get warm and sweaty. 
Yeah. 2011 Diorome is more waxy and less sweet. Also amazing in its own right. I love the 2011. I might have another bottle. I think I gave my kid one because I had two. I can't imagine giving my only bottle away. I'm pretty sure I had two. Hang on. Oh, that's the sport. So weird. Ah, I know where it is. I know where it is. Hold on. There we go. I know where it is. Here we go. This is gorgeous too. Really, really gorgeous. How about this? How about this clunker? 2020. Okay, let me go. Too many diodomes here. Diodome. Diorome is a great work scent, eh? It's so good at work. Like this, eau de toilette. Oof, it's so damn good. Lavender. This has got lavender in it as well. Two thousand eleven is much darker, more ambery. Look at that, guys. Can't get a good. Can you guys see that? It looks thicker, heavier. This this one looks more watery. <laughs> High T, baby. High T. Do those squats. Ah. Uh -huh. Look at that. <laughs> if you want better performance, just shake your perfumes like this. Don't ever stop. Just keep shaking them. That's what you tell everybody. How do I get my perfumes to last long? You shake them. Do it home in the Lamal bottle. Gentlemen, Givenchy collection is the closest now to DH. I don't mind the Givenchy, like from all the department store fragrances. I think Givenchy are kind of the nicest, like modern Givenchy, comparing to everything else. Like if I had to pick one designer fragrance, it might be from the Givenchy collection. From all the current, like latest releases from the big brands. Bobby Dior, maybe you're right. Music for a while needs really cold weather. I'm in Los Angeles, 50 degrees and we're freezing, not cold enough for music for a while. Even in the in the warmth, I mean, one spray, there's something really beautiful about music for a while. There's something beautiful to be found in that sweetness, in that caramel, um, even the bubble gum, you know? But especially in the pineapple, the pineapple is really, really something. I think it's one of the best pineapples in perfume. It's really complex. It's there. It's undeniable. It's sticky. It's dry. It's syrupy. DH color looks like the color of Les Exclusives. Yes, it's family members. This is a Chanel exclusive through and through. Uh, this is a Jacques Polge. This should have been a Chanel Les Exclusive. But they're like, no, it's not good enough for a Les Exclusive, so we'll sell it to Dior. And Dior's like, not good enough for an exclusive, but it's the best Dior ever made. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How about that, Olivier Polge? Maybe when Olivier Polge leaves Chanel, Dior might fire FK and hire him since they like Chanel so much. Oof. I'm getting Givenchy Fantasque samples from their private line. 
I saw incense and I need to try it. This is their second private line. They had a private line and they discontinued the, they axed the whole thing and restarted a whole new private line. I heard it really starts to blossom at minus 30. What about 29 or 31 or 35 or 22? Iris Torefi, definitely inspired by Diorum. Oh no, daddy is back for his perfume. Climate seems to be debatable, just got to keep trying. Diorum can be used any season, any reason. Your hands must be massive if you can hold two DH in one hand like this. <laughs> really? I don't think it's that hard. Come on. Come on, I can probably pick up more, bro. How did I hold two DH? Ooh. How about three DH? How about three DH? Nah, that's an illusion because of this. It's not an illusion. Come on, Prady. We all know what an illusion is. I'm not a magician here, okay? I'm just on YouTube and I'm not pulling any strings. Look. What is that? I hear crying. I sound like a cat crying. How long have I been squatting? Great exercise. Uh, April will be a year. April will be a year. Since I've been like lifting heavy weights. It's been a great year. Uh, exercise wise. Uh, I'm still getting sore. Like every day, I'm I'm waking up and I'm super sore. So I love that. And just it's it's just you know telling me that I'm doing something right, that I'm going the right way. The moment I stop getting sore, it's like oh maybe I'm not working hard enough. But I love doing squats. Squats are my favorite. They're the hardest, but they're my favorite because they're the most rewarding. At the end of it, I'm always the happiest after squat day. But Lynn, you hit the nail on the head tonight with the adjective oppressive. It is heavy, guys. Um, and it kind and it lacks the no, I mean I was gonna say it lacks kind of detail, but maybe it's not, it doesn't need to have that detail, you know. Um oppressive. You mean like a sledgehammer? Is that what you mean by oppressive? Yeah, buddy. What's happening, Zhao? Good to see you. Zhao. Do you want to come on? Bob, is it whipping you with a belt? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Have you experienced Genu perfumes? I've not. I've not XB. Wore music for a while yesterday. Today I'm in Roman Monegal Soul of Oud. From the current releases, I actually like both Abirouge Privé and Shalimar Iris from Guerlain. They are not overpriced as well. Witch crying. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> it sounded like cats crying. Like right out my window, too. And it was an intense cry. I've not heard it before. I guess you know the cry then, eh, Pradeep? I've tried the Ginu perfumes in their shop in Mexico City. They're interesting, refined. Have you tried any? I got to go. Have a good night. Good night, Toph.
Boz Cobra, I just got up. You must be up very early or late. See, somebody I didn't tell I didn't I didn't block Boz. Who says I blocked Boz? Somebody said, please unblock Boz. I was like, I didn't I didn't block Boz. I don't remember. What's happening, Boz? Yeah. Which one should we do tomorrow? And I, I I keep dropping my bottles on the floor while I'm streaming and I am marking them up and I don't like that. That really upsets me. So I have to be more careful. I'm really careless at some things. Like this, like, look at this. I dropped my bottle and I, I scuffed it. And that irritates the hell out of me. Like a little scuff like that on my bottle. That will annoy me. Does anyone else get like that? If they get scuffs on their bottle? Uncut gem. All of these, you know. The Frederick Mull bottles, these labels all have this kind of, I don't know what it is. Is it glue or something? Like right at the top there, at the center. And they all come like that. They all have this like shiny little mark there. I mean, so in some of them, it's really, really small. I always wondered, like, what is that? Is that like a printing press thing? Like... Do you see the shininess like right at the top there? It's very minuscule. It's not even worth talking about, but like look at this one as well. And it's all in the same spot. You see how it's shiny? Like it's missing liqueur or something on the label at the top and the bottom. If I turn it like this, you might be able to see it better. Right there. I'd love to send you a couple of samples of Xenu perfumes. I think they're pretty good. If you think they're worth trying, I would certainly accept. I wouldn't mind trying them. No, no block. Who said that? Vicious tongues. Somebody said it. I don't remember who. How is Frederick Moll's Dante Bra? Unisex worth it? Thanks. We're going to talk about Dante Bra. I have to discover Dante Bra on a deeper level. We got to get personal with Dante Bra. I still don't know Dante Bra the way I should. There's there's more to uncover here. But it's a fascinating one. So many people there's there are a lot of people that love Dante Bra. And I think it's because of the strangeness. Pradeep said it was one of his favorites. Yeah, four not so similar. Rose and Queer, French Lover, Carnal Flower, and Lo de Ver, maybe. Is that the similar to Apre Leon Day? This is what you're going to do. Turn on, tune out, drop out. You are going to make a list of all the Frederick Mall perfumes on a piece of paper. You're going to write them out, or you can type it on the spreadsheet. And then you're going to you're gonna cut them out, every name, and you're going to roll them up in these little balls and throw them in a hat and then you pick out four and those four that you pick out will be just as good as my recommendation i promise you that or it'll be those four that you pick out will be just as good as anybody's recommendation they had um during the stanley cup playoffs here <laughs> they would they would forecast the playoffs and they would make all these predictions they'd have these great analysts breaking down the games the series who's playing who 
what line is going to be against what line and why they're going to win and what team is going to advance into the next round and what team is going to advance into the next round after that. And they all had these predictions, all these professionals, they had these predictions who was going to win the Stanley Cup. And then they had this monkey come and take names out of a hat of all the teams. And in the end, the monkey got the best results, better results than all the professional analysts just by picking picking names out of a hat. So I'm 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 telling you something similar. Just pick any four, bro. You can't miss. Um, but if you want my, you don't want my favorite four, right? You said you you want something different. They're all great, man. They're all great in their own way. You know, all the ones that I wore, I I, I really I really enjoy everything. Um, if you like rose and you don't want portrait, get lipstick rose. It's very rosé. If you don't want a, 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 like such a feminine rose, then get rose and queer. Uh, if you want something earthy and bitter and biting, Bois d'Orage. You don't have Dante Bra? I, I do have Dante Bra. I do have Dante. I have all of the Frederick Wells. Do Dries Van Naughten. Yeah, Dries is another heavy hitter. God, that might be their their heaviest perfume. Dries. Dries is up there with Monsieur. Dries is heavy. Rose and queer. Clone indelible. When are you going to do the Magnolia one? Dante Bra tomorrow. Carl says Dante Bra is one of the Frederick Moles have a backup of. Wow. Tell us more, Carl. Anna, good morning. It's good to see you too. Really, really early. 435 in Montreal. You guys are at the same time zone as us, right? I think so. Oh, saw it. Yeah. That printing irks me. It took the CNA off of Jean Carolina. <laughs> Jean Laud Ellen. <laughs> Pradeep, what are the chances we're going to see one more Jean Claude before the end of an era? Or how many more Jean Claudes do you want to see with Frederick Mull? How many more would you be content with? Would one more be enough? Like, what if we get no more? Are you okay with that? I say three more. I would love to see at least three more. That would be nice. Anne's in Montreal. Boz. Zenu, the Mexican brand. Duncan says, Lynn, I tried Monstera Zenu. Very green and prickly. Did you see the Estee Lauder Legacy Collection out this week curated by Mull? No, I haven't. Okay, so give us the breakdown. When can we smell these? Are these going to be available everywhere? Wherever they carry Estee Lauder, we're going to be able to smell this Legacy Collection? I wonder if they're going to smell like Frederick Mulls. Is that the point? Is to update them? To have them smell like Frederick Mulls? I have about 10 Frederick Mull. I love them all. I love all of them. It's an A-plus house. I'm sure I'm going to love music for a while, too, after spending time with it and after this discussion. I 
I hope it works for you. If not, and you end up buying it, I'm sure it's going to be easy to turn over to somebody. Frederick Mulls are pretty simple to turn over. Geranium put them on sur, Musk Ravager and Promise are my only Frederick Mull. Think I will make the list and the one I pick will purchase it blind buy. <laughs> make, make a list and cut them out. Put them into a hat and pick one. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You know what you do? You know what you like? You know what you like? Read all read all the accords and, and find out what, what kind of sounds the best to you. What notes do you like? It's Canada. It's not that hard. It's just Canada. I like Monstera and Copeland. Zinu from Mexico. I think the perfumer behind is Rodrigo Flores Ru. All right. I'm not familiar with these at all. But certainly, <laughs> you guys are having a field day with Jinu. Is that how it's pronounced? Jinu? Yes, Rodrigo did them. More Jean-Claude Elena. Hmm, a bit conflicted. One release a year. So others, new perfum perfumers. But yes, two to three more. Jean-Claude would be great. Heaven Can Wait is a good end too if it comes to that. Heaven Can Wait is a brilliant end. That could very possibly be in my top Frederick Moles at the end of this. But I do definitely want to see more Jean-Claude Elena. They don't have to be all three in a row. They could be one now, one in 10 years, and one in 15 more years. I'm, I'd am i be okay with that, you know? Or one every three years. Why not? They don't have to be immediately. Because there are other perfumers out there that want to get paid and, and work and be noticed and, you know, create beautiful perfumes too. Um, but how many releases are you you're okay with one steady release, one release per year? I'm okay with that. If they did two, that would be... I, I'd be okay even with two. Two would be good. Two would still be interesting. I wouldn't want this... I wouldn't want to see them go over that. But one, two... I'm okay with that. But having can wait is a brilliant end. Yeah, if he stops with that, like bravo, like bravo. That's hoisting a, a, the Stanley Cup over your shoulders, you know, going out your career with a bang. Bees, what's happening, bees? Only own Noir Peace and Parfum de Trace Grace. I love both of those. And that's the father and son combo. It's too bad. It's it's too bad he didn't make more perfumes. The sun. Like he made a couple of perfumes and he disappeared. What's he like smoking weed out in the woods now or something? <laughs> I think he's a hippie somewhere. He, he's not working anymore, is he? I just think Dante Bras, Frederick Mull's overall style and aura in one scent, cashmere, violet, clean. Doesn't scream, come look at me. It's a comforting embrace. Also really classy. I wore music for a while yesterday for nothing. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, I was gonna I was so tired I couldn't stream. By the time I came home from work, it was it was past, you know, 
It was almost 3 a.m. The stream started at 3 a.m. I was just exhausted. I got up early yesterday morning too. So that's why I wore music for a while, two days in a row. I wore it yesterday with the intention of streaming, but I didn't. So I wore it again today. Dante Bra smells like cold, limp body to me. I, I bet you there's a million ways we can describe Dante Bra. It's spicy and peppery. It has a, like, it singes my nose as I'm smelling it. It's super sharp and high pitched. A very glossy. Like a lot of light, but I, I imagine a lot of that is coming from pine needles. It's like extracted pine sap or oil. That's where the bitterness is coming from too. The greenness, the, the light, the reflection of light. The pine is, it's almost like gin and tonic-y. I think Ropion made the best stuff for Frederick Mull. Which ones? Which ones spaced? He made, he made some really good ones. A better extraordinaire. Portrait, cologne, indelible. You and Anuj, Canadian to a fault, it's Canada. One release of is one release a year is fine. Antoine Lee and Amal, imagine that. Yeah, that would be awesome. You never know. I wonder if I wonder if he has any interest in that. Somebody should ask him like how he feels about. I'm sure he would love it. Like what what wouldn't be to love, right? Wouldn't every perfumer want their name on a Frederick Mall bottle? I, I imagine it's something to be proud of. It's kind of like winning a Grammy, wouldn't it? It's better than winning a Grammy. It's on a Frederick Mull bottle. Dante Bra would be my next Mull. Blind even. I trust Pradeep's recommendation. Dude, you should smell this, really. All right, you guys want to do Dante Bra? Let's do Dante Bra tomorrow, okay? Let's do Dante. All right. It's out. It's set. Dante. Tomorrow is Dante Bra Day. And I am going to mark that for Bobby. I'm going to, Bobby, I'm going to send you a sample of Dante Bra. I'm making a care package. And so far I have Shaper Palatin, Angelique Sulapluie, Diagolev, Don Perry, and Dante Bra. What else do you want to smell? Oh, yes, one release a year keeps the excitement and avoids saturation. So it's more looking forward to. It. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. But I love that feeling so much. I want to experience it twice a year, Pradeep. You know, I love the excitement around his releases. Um, he just apparently just did another interview with Sally Hughes, and that should be out really, really soon. So looking forward to that. Rodrigo Flores Rue made EL from Arquise, a new favorite of mine. I even like Uncut Gem. I don't like, I don't quite understand why people were so angry about it. It's a good time perf. It, it's a good time perfume and so well. I've got uh, that black tie. Something really bitter is coming out in black tie space. That it's like bitter galbanum or tobacco. That's what it feels like. But uncut gem is 
It's a weird one, too. I think it's the fruitiness. And I think Dante Bra is Maurice Rousseau's best work. So many people have said this. I keep hearing this over and over and over again. I, what is it? Just the strangeness, the uniqueness. What makes Dante Bras so great? It's like pine and violets. And the mirror. Like I just see a big mirror. I, hold, I, I, I see somebody holding up a big mirror to me and just reflecting that, you know, the, the, the light, the sunshine. It is really bright to me. Does anyone else get that reflection of light? Like maybe a reflection, like somebody, somebody holding a mirror, reflecting the light off of the, the, the top of a body of water, like right into your face. It's time. For, it's coffee time for douche and hot chocolate for vodka. What's with the hot chocolate, bro? <laughs> Where's the rakia, Dushan? Where's the kafa? The turska kava. And cigare. You need cigare and kafa. Or is that after? Rakia e kava. Yebo ti swoga dushan. Says Boz. I also like uncut gem. How do you feel about Uncut Gem compared to the other green perfumes? Bois d'Orage, Vetiver Extraordinaire, Sula Pluie. Like, it's not bad, but I don't think it holds a place with the other, th those three green perfumes, or even Synthetic Jungle 4, um, or even Rose and Queer 5. So for green, R Uncut Gem is a big green perfume to me. Like, when I compare it to all the other green perfumes, it's nice on its own, but it doesn't compare. It just, it feels out of place for me. So you find Dante Bra is sexy. Hmm. I never saw it as sexy. Sexy isn't something that comes to my mind. It is dry. Hairspray. Incense. Smoky incense. I get so much pine from this. Pepper. But there's a sap. Where's the sap coming from? Holy fuck. It's it's really it's like mothballs. It's really strange, eh? This is such a strange perfume. It smells like something coming from an aerosol can. Like I smell so many different things. I smell like dryer sheets, but I also smell a gin and tonic. It's slightly salty. It's slightly acidic. It's kind of like putting your tongue to a battery. It, parts of it smell like industrial cleaner, household cleaner. Partly it, remind, it, it, it reminds me of a plastic factory.
Why would people be open to another Roussel after the gem? Well, I mean, he has also made Musk Ravageur and Dante Bra and others that people love. So Rush is not the best Canadian band. I couldn't stand Rush, Boz. I couldn't stand that guy's voice. Oh, he would put me to sleep. It was numbing. Rush is numbing to me, man. Have y'all talked about how music music has a potting soil note after about seven hours? It smells like clean dirt and everything's sweet and herbal. Lavender is just gone. That's probably the patchouli coming out. Patchouli is very soily. Dante Bra has a lotion skin vibe in there. It smells like a second skin, like sweaty skin. Do you get sweaty skin from it? I'm wary. I'm waiting for Aaron Terrence Frederick Mull. Pradeep has deep knowledge. It has to be hard for Antoine to top himself by now, I imagine. He needs some heavy pressure from you, Eugene. I'm sure Frederick would give him good incentive and inspiration. But he's, he's created some beauties. Eugene, please do not go out of your way. It's not going out of my way. Yeah, he will go deep into Dante Bra. Yeah, we'll do Dante Bra tomorrow. Bobby Mull has a ring to it. So where do we start? Bobby Four, Bobby Dior. There you go, Bobby MFK. Bobby Chanel. Le Leon Bobby. Hedy Slamane for Frederick Mull would be nice, but guess he's booked with Celine. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen as long as he's under somebody, right? Workday life. What's happening? All day. Hetty is behind Diorome and Bois d'Argent. I don't need anything else. I have never gotten all the praise for black tie. You don't get black tie? Have you tried black tie? Have you tried black tie, Bobby? Vanilla. It's a dark, smoky vanilla. Black tie. I remember buying a Dante bra after having a big sample set where that was one of them, and the depth and intensity appealed to me a lot. I do wish I spent more time with it, though. It's quite metallic. It's so bitter, pickly. It's very pickly and briny. God, there are so many different words you can use to describe this. Hey, Eugene, I don't drink Arakia, but Batke does. He likes Shlivovica. We don't use cigars. We are at work, and it's coffee time now. I don't drink Arakia. I don't drink anything either, but that's cool. I've had Shliva. I've had Arakia. I've, I've tried all of that stuff. It's like um, jet fuel. That's what it is. Paint thinner. That stuff will strip the paint right off your walls. It'll burn a hole in your stomach too. My dad used to cook that shit in the house. Do you know how bad it would smell? Like when I was a little kid, my dad would cook Shliva. And we couldn't, like, he would cook in the basement. And the smell, we couldn't play down there. The, like, the smell was so strong. That's where all our toys would be in the basement. And we couldn't, we couldn't go down there. It was overwhelming, right? Dante Bra lacks something at the end of the day. There's something about it that don't satisfy when I wear I, that. You know what, Alexander? I think I feel you there, and that's why I don't wear it. I'm not 
pulled to it for all its intent. It might have a great story to it, but there's something about it that feels, I don't want to discredit it, but I haven't, I haven't just, I, I haven't created a relationship with this yet. You know, something that I look for, you know, there's people in your life that you always look forward to talking to. And when you do, you always enjoy your time with them, no matter if it was like for five minutes or five hours, but, and you always look forward to talking to them again or a text message or whatever, right? There's those, those people like perfumes. And, and this is one of those that I, I'm still uncertain about, like, I'm not sure what to expect. And then when it's time to come and pick it up, I always find something ahead of it. Like something that I know I'll love. Bengal Bobby is my favorite. It's plums. Made from plums. Uncut Gem doesn't compete with does other greens think. Uncut Gem doesn't compete with the other greens. It's really badass, I think. Almost like a scent for people who don't want to wear a classic fragrance. It does have that kind of classic vibe to it. I get a lot of classic vibes from this. I actually feel like it, it feels more classic than modern to me. Like it still uses a lot of like the Angelica and the Vetiver. Oh, that's Angelique Slipley. Where did Uncut Gem go? That's a strange one, but I do get the big leather in here. Arakia burns you from the inside out. I don't like it at all. I'm not a fan either. No shit burns your mouth. It Ugh. it's like acid i can't you know people enjoy it but it's it's an acquired taste <laughs> your dad is a champion he made the mold rakia and it goes perfect with mez there was always mez in the house bro come here eugene to try Mukalitsa. What's Mukalitsa? I don't know what that is, bro. Uzo Sambuca Tsiporo. Papillon video. Ripe Abu, Shanice flavored. Yes, Bobby, give me more Liz Moores. Dushan is asking for Liz Moores. What would you like from Liz Moores, Dushan? Gives me heartburn, unfortunately. Yeah, that's probably why I don't drink it. Actually, I don't drink it because it's damn poison. That's why I don't drink it. It's funny. I had a conversation. Like I was telling you about the conversation with my friend today, the guy I've known since I was three. He calls me up out of the blue. I haven't talked to him in 20 years. Just checking in, asking about families and kids and asking me if I'm drinking. I said, bro, I haven't had a drink in a long time. Um, not for any other reason, just that I don't, I don't enjoy it. He's like, you know what? Me neither. I haven't drank in a long time either. And for the same thing, I just find it gross and I don't enjoy it. And I was like, that's really interesting. Yeah. I just don't enjoy it, bro. Uncut gem makes me think of Benicio del Toro and Sicaro, badass old hitman. Yeah, Benicio is a great actor, eh? I love that attitude. He always reminded me of Brad Pitt, like that same style of cool. Oh, Sambuca. I, I did not like Sambuca. Way too sweet and licorice-y. And... Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, yuck. No. That's what this feels like, kind of. The Dante bra has that effect. Is it mentholated? Is Dante bra mentholated? Would you guys say it's mentholated? Mm. 
Pradeep, you need to come on a live stream sometime and we'll talk Frederick Mall. I think that's what we need to do. Have you been on the live stream at all yet? Have you been on anyone's live stream? The Vaqueros on the ranch drink Uzo. That's how I became a man. <laughs> and the semi professional mechanical bull rider. So just drink more Uzo, and the better you'll get at riding the bull. I'm waiting for Liz to give us her best interpretation of a leather perfume. Have you asked her? And what would you want it to smell like other than leather? She would answer the phone if Eugene called. Who? Who would answer the phone? Who am I calling, Bobby? Bobby, do you have Cologne Blanche? Dushan needs to show us his stuff live. That'd be a good video. Dushan, you need to show us your collection. Space House says, I think Vert de Bois is top three Tom Ford ever. Unreal how good it is. Liz Moores. Did you check? Did you see her on Ramsey's stream? Ramsey interviewed her, Bobby. I mean, that was enough. What what more do you need? I mean, if that if that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough to get the juices flowing, nothing is going to get your juices flowing. Mutskalista is a strong food. It contains meat from wild animal and some vegetables. It is a very delicious. Now I must find pen and paper, scissors and write and cut and make a mess. <laughs> Live stream it. Hey, yo, come on the stream. Come on the stream and do it. Never been on the live stream. Just put out a video now and then. You have a channel, Pradeep? What's the name of your channel? Is it Pradeep Sakar? I don't know the Papillon perfumes at all. I, I've got small samples of them and tried them uh, over the summer. Somebody sent me samples of the collection. And I thought they were very well done. I thought they were very well done. More interesting than a lot of, than most commercial stuff out there, that's for sure. They're definitely worth a try, Lynn. Try them, absolutely. Eugene Dushan and Batke live stream. I think we all need that. Yeah, I want to smell Batke. I want to know what Batke smells like. What does Batke smell like when he's not wearing perfume, Dushan? You guys are electric. My son's an electrician. He's on his apprenticeship. First year apprenticeship. He's loving it. He says all I'm doing is pulling wire through the house. So he's working in, in new housing and running wire. I'm glad we're on the same page there, Bobby. But I know I feel you. We won't go too much into it because it's not it's not really polite to talk about other people, right? But we get you, you know. I feel you, Bobby. I feel you. I know what you mean. This more interview by Ramsey was great for sure. Loved it. Oh, didn't know juice was flowing from that stream. Oh yeah, yeah, you didn't know, eh? <laughs> Nobody knew. Pradeep's channel is sent Zatora. All right, let me look this up. Zathora or Torah? Four hundred and thirty-six subscribers. 
Is that you? Okay, I'm subscribed. Let me go to your home page. That's you? Sent Zatora? Looks like a clean page, bro. Oh, I gotta. Okay, I'm. I'm really interested. I've not. I didn't know you had a channel. Everything looks so manicured. Oh, I did. I've. I've watched your videos. I can see the red line here. Heaven can wait. I watched your heaven can wait video, dude. I didn't know this was you. Did I know this was you? Okay, there's Pradeep's channel. Go and check it out. Everybody go and check out Pradeep's channel. I've watched this. I can see the lines here. Is the Home Intense worth it? I've watched that. Oh, and you reviewed Dante Bra. And number 22, 100 year old perfumes. <laughs> Chanel number 22. The Moon, Fall Favorites. Queer Donge, four days ago. Hermes H24. Roke. And they all hover around the 10 minute mark very precisely, very, very precisely. Is that intentional? Great thumbnails too. Really nice thumbnails, Pradeep. It looks like a really clean page. Are you gonna be doing live streams? I think you should come on the channel and do a live sometime. Lewis says, Papillon is one of the top for me amazing fragrances. The love beneath. Eugenius, the love beneath. What's happening? The love beneath. Allow yourself to be a beginner. No one starts off being excellent. Yes, practice, practice, practice. Consistency. Consistency is where it's at. Batke is wearing the first iteration of Dioram Intense from 2011. Bring back Dimashi. Bring back Dimashi. Yes. There it is, Dushan. 2011. Dior oh, Intense. Puh. Okay. Intense is good. I like the Intense. Bobby pounced. Ramsey the Great. Rambo. Ramsey's the great. Crazy. I'm going to apprentice with my buddy Joe. Maybe a bit late at 40 years, but my current occupation is not possible in Texas. What are you apprenticing, Duncan? Electrician? It's just 5.11 here, just outside of Toronto time. Guys, lick the stream if you're here. If you're enjoying yourselves, you're having a good time, you're having fun, whatever you're doing, if you're laying in bed, if you're on the sofa, if you're at work, pulling wires or trading stocks lick the stream if you're here with us lick the stream <laughs> pradeep is not he's not having it pradeep's channel is fantastic he he talks so well and is informative he goes deep eugene you will really like his videos i already do i i've talked to rich about I didn't make the connection. I've I've known his channel because I I've seen the I've seen his Heaven Can Wait video. I didn't realize it was him for some reason. Yes, you you're not allowed. You're you're we're demanding. It is an absolute that you must subscribe. There is no am I allowed? You have to. There's no ultimatum. You must subscribe to Pradeep. <laughs> subscribed 
What's happening, Dimitri? Scent of the day, Jardin Après la Mousson. Don't watch old ones too short. That's okay, man. We all got to start somewhere. I watch my... <laughs> I don't I don't watch any of my videos, but from time to time, I'll click just... I don't know, just to look at something. I'll be like, oh my God. But I don't. I don't watch my videos ever. I hit the bell. Drop the link for Pradeep. He's on his lunch break. Yeah, sure. Pradeep, you want to come on? Or somebody... Wait, it's it's 5 a.m. I don't know how much longer I want to stay on because uh, I do want to get up early. If somebody wants to come on for a moment, I'm okay with that. Mr. Fancy Pants channel looks great. Yeah, it is a Fancy Pants channel. It's a very fancy channel, but not too fancy. It's just, it's fancy enough where it's not fancy. He can still hang out with us, you know? It's not like overly fancy where he's like way above us. <laughs> but he can he, he can take off if he wants to two hour lunch break in France what is it paid do they pay you for your lunch breaks two hour like what is it why two hours does it take you that long to eat or what the hell takes so long they got nothing for you to do like, is there no work? Why even keep you? We get we get 30 minutes. Oh, you must have one of those like lawyer corporate jobs. That's a fancy job. You don't get a two hour lunch break if you got a fancy, like if you got a blue collar job. Electro shook therapy test apprentice. Tonight we'll watch the Lakers Nuggets. We love Jokic. He's the second best sportsman after Joe. My kids love Jokic. They love his attitude and his just the way he doesn't give a shit and he's not obsessed about everything the way most NBAers are. Like he didn't even know when the parade was after they won the championship. He just wanted to go back to his country and they're like, wait, no, we got the parade in two days. And he's like, parade? When's the parade? Or they're talking to him, asking him about basketball, and, and he's like, what? This is just a job for me, you know? I just want to go home and play games. He doesn't even want to do interviews after the game. He just wants to go home and play video games. It's just a table in the actual bids. It's like riches, then. Rich is the same. Zen Satora has commented on my channel, so he's not fancy for us. There's a big longing of violet in here. It's an oddball for sure. Dante Bra is an oddball and a rarity. I don't know if I'm going to love it as much as Pradeep or, or Carl. The HVAC air conditioning guy charged me $500 for $18 part and 15 minutes labor. So that's the goal. But I'll start with general electrical first. Get a government job, an electrical government job. Those are those are the some of the best jobs here. Dimitri purchased 70s bottle of opium arriving today. All right, guys. I think this is a great time. The chat is slowly coming to an end and two hours in. I'm going to hit the hay. I'm going to go outside and smoke a big fatty first. A really big one. 
and then maybe I'll meditate and then I'll transition into sleep. Well, that's what's going to happen. But well, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow and we will be doing, we'll, we'll review Dante Brawl together. All right. So we'll see what this is all about. Same time, same place. Pradeep, if you want to come on tomorrow, that would be cool. You you seem to know this perfume quite well. If you've got the time, you're welcome. You're welcome to come on, but how many moles do I have? I have all of them. You mean you want me to count them? You want me to count them really quick? <laughs> two hour break yeah yeah can you imagine eating like so much pasta and not being able to get up hey i you know he loves frederick mall and i love frederick mall so i think i would get along with anybody that loves frederick mall and it's just good person in general, so I don't mind fanboying over Pradeep. He's got a good heart. Anyway, guys, have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow with Dante Bra. I mean, have a great day wherever you are in the world. I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you're flowing. I hope you find whatever it is that you're looking for because it is probably looking for you right back. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow.